What's up Cloud Gamers? Welcome to another Cloud Gaming Extreme video. In today's video, we'll be showcasing some Cloud Gaming platforms running on, on the new RG Ally. So let's get started. We'll start off with Xbox Cloud Gaming. So, right, so we got Halo Infinite running on Xbox Cloud Gaming. And something you notice that this is a 1080p the screen. So it is taking advantage of the 1080p because Xbox Cloud Gaming on PC does support 1080p. So again, you see this looks gorgeous. I'm in a really difficult spot here so i keep dying yeah <laughs> just want to showcase a little bit of xbox cloud gaming running on this device and something you notice that it doesn't take advantage of the full screen here but eventually it will i don't know why that happens maybe an update is required but i'm just gonna run around here because these mofos are tough and again i keep dying here but again just want to showcase this one off as you can see it it runs and it runs really well here so with GeForce Now, if you come here and if you go to settings, you can actually set this to where you can take advantage of the 120 refresh rate, which is awesome. So we're going to come here. We're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to go to custom. As you see here, it's taking advantage of the 1080p display and 120 refresh rate. Guys, I'm telling you, once you experience this, it's difficult to go back to playing something else. So we're going to play something like Cyberpunk and we're going to use the 120 FPS this uh, refresh rate and 1080p and you'll see this looks absolutely gorgeous and then we are going to go to video here and we're going to have it at 120 FPS here against a 1080p uh, display here so with that being said let's get started with some cyberpunk goodness all right so this is cyberpunk running on ultra settings and as you can see here 120 FPS here so for touching the screen but yeah, this looks absolutely brilliant and plays really, really well on this device. So the fact that you can play 120 FPS using GeForce Now is a thing of beauty. This looks good and plays well. I can't stress this enough. The 1080p display as well looks absolutely incredible here. All right, so next I do want to showcase Booster right here. Something you notice with all this cloud game platform that I'm showcasing off it is the windows app so again it's not like i'm running it via the browser so again you do get the advantage of using the official windows desktop app with these applications so again we're gonna test out some booster right here all right so here we have diablo 4 running on the booster right platform and you see this game looks absolutely gorgeous on this device it's running at 60 fps and taking advantage of that 1080p display so again just want to highlight this one off and showcase what this one looks like running on this device all right so here we go again some diablo 4 gameplay footage on this device as you can see it is running really smooth taking advantage of that 1080p and also that uh, 60 hertz refresh rate as well. So just want to highlight some Diablo 4 running on the Boosteroid platform here. All right, last, I do want to show some PlayStation Plus here. So let's open it up, get right into this. All right, so here we have Horizon Forbidden West running on this device. And again, it looks absolutely stunning here, taking advantage of that 1080p display as well. So something about run this device on the Windows platform is it gives you the option to take advantage of your graphic card. And you've seen that right here. It is using the AMD graphics card that is on this device. And again, you see here, this looks absolutely stunning running on 1080p display. So you can actually get PlayStation Plus to run the Steam Deck. But the issue is that when it comes to the touch uh, controls you do get stuck in some games but with this there's some magic in here i've had different situations where it's asked me to use touch and i'm able to bypass that i don't know how i don't know why but it's is just this stuff like press l1 and press x and i just do that and then bypass it having to actually need a do shot controller to get past those those parts so again this runs really well and it is definitely playable on this device all right cloud gamers just want to highlight some cloud gaming with the rg ally let me know what your thoughts are i'm having a great time with this and i do feel like this device is actually one of the better devices for cloud gaming but if you guys own this let me know what your thoughts in the comments below appreciate you guys we'll catch you guys in the next one until next time peace out